name is Annette and you may know me as Netter's Plays. And today on Applied Mechanics, I'm going to go over Honshu. Now Honshu has a really interesting card laying mechanism. So let me show you a little bit about that and explain to you exactly how it's applied and why I like this game so much. Every player will get a random starting mat card. Every player will also get six cards to their hand. These cards have different types of land areas, which will score you points at the end of the game, along with a number value too. On your turn, you're going to go ahead and play a card face down. You can always add a resource cube to add 60 to the value of that card. All other players can also play a card. Then whoever had the highest value gets to go first in picking which one of those cards they want to add to their map. With the card that you just acquired, you get to add it to your map, and you can add it by either rotating it in any which way and placing it either above or below that card. So you're going to play a total of 12 cards, two rounds of six cards each. When you're down to three cards, you're going to go ahead and pass your hand over to another player and they will pass you theirs. When you're down to 12 cards, then your map might look like this. So one thing I really enjoy about Honshu and its car lane mechanism is the fact that it takes tile lane to a different dimension. Yes, the cards are flat and they're two-dimensional. However, you can place them either under or over other cards, unlike tiles. In tile lane games, you always add the tiles adjacent to one another, but because you can overlay the cards, it adds a different depth to the game. So Honshu itself is very innovative and very extraordinary because it takes card play to a different place. So that's why I really enjoy Honshu.